Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about some of my special memories which are captured in a photograph. I have this few photographs with me and I'm going to share some stories and memories about them. So let's get started. Can you guess who is this? That's me. I don't know whether it was a strategy to click photos of babies in search pose. I especially call this pose mermaid pose because the baby is slipping that way. Uh, and it's not only me who has this photograph, but even my mom has this same pose photograph. See, so that's why I called it a mermaid pose, and that's why I called it a strategy in the olden days. But it's cute. This photo is my favorite one. They are my parents and they look so happy together and so cute together. Apart from that, I also admire their fashion. Like this olden days fashion was so comfortable, so stylish. I really admire it a lot. I wish this comes back in trend because I don't know, it looks so nice. I have this memories with me where you know I used to find my mom's old clothes or my granny's old clothes if they have you know kept it because they are they my granny also has my baby uh, dresses like when I was a one year old kid or maybe you know six months old old kid she has the small dresses which she stitched for me and she still has them in the bag so similarly I used to find these uh, clothes of their clothes like my granny's old sarees or something and if I have seen this photograph of them wearing it then I used to do the same fashion and wear it and all click this photographs and you know show it to them so this photograph shows me getting baptized they are my parents holding me and blessing me and in the opposite side is the priest who is saying the prayer uh, baptism in a Catholic religion is the purification and admission to the Catholic Church like you can basically like you know uh, formally enter the church once you are baptized so this is done by sprinkling holy water and saying applying oil to the baby and uh, you know the priest says some prayers and then uh, this is actually a naming ceremony you are given a name in this ceremony and this is done like one month after the birth of the baby or else maybe on anyone who wants to follow this Christianity. So I was named Alisha Mary Menezes. <laughs> this photograph seems so funny to me. It's like my brother is scared to cut the cake and literally everyone is forcing him to cut it. And I am standing next to my grandfather and thinking like why this guy is doing so much nakra, it's just the cake, I can cut the cake in much better way. And see, in the next photograph, I have already done it with my cousin. Like I was so proud of myself for cutting that cake. And this one was doing so much nakra to cut it. It was so simple. So that was the story of these two photographs. And they are my grandparents. I used to call my grandfather daddy and my grandmother Mai because everyone else in the house used to call them that early. My grandfather expired almost uh, 12 years back and my grandmother is still there. She completed 77 years this year. Uh, what used to happen is like my parents used to go for work. So during daytime my grandparents used to take care of me and my brother. So we both are lucky enough to get this love and care from both, like grandparents and parents also. Next photograph is me with my godparents. Godparents are those people uh, who during the process of baptism, apart from parents, they promise to take the responsibility of the child. Like anything happens to the parents, then the child will be uh, in the hands of this godparents. So my godfather is my dad's brother. And my godmother is my mom's best friend. Like they are really close. So this photograph is so perfect. Like in the olden days, these party poppers were not in trend at time. So what people used to do, they used to take this big balloon and fill confetti in it. And then they used to burst it <laughs> during the birthdays or any function. So here in this photograph, you can see two of my cousins holding the balloon and just ready to burst it. And below are these children who are, you know, Closing their ears because of that sound. That noise was very scary, at least for children. For me, it was scary. That is me with my brother. We both 
like me and my brother had so many soft toys and so many other toys also ultimately the yellow teddy was the last one to remain like this teddy i still have it i have carefully packed it in a plastic bag and kept it in a cupboard it's just as it was like if you'll visit my house i will be able to say it so for that you'll need to come to my house <laughs> This photograph is very special to me. I used to always sleep next to my grandfather because he used to tell me stories. He used to tell me these bedtime stories. He used to teach me a lot through those stories. And the best part was he used to work. And uh, during that those work hours, he used to prepare at least one story to tell me. Because if he has not prepared a story, I would get so angry and I would not sleep that night. So. basically to calm me down he used to repeat the same old story in a different way and then a question answers began i was a cat person i am a cat person and i will always be a cat person the reason behind me liking cat so much is that the story is we were seven members in a family and similarly we had seven cats also so what i used to do is i used to count each cat for each family member and one day some dogs killed one of the cat and i was so devastated i started disliking dogs but now i am an animal lover and i treat all the animals equally but cats are my whole world my first big cycle this is me and my brother and i'm holding my new cycle and my brother has this small red cycle which can be seen partially seen in the left corner so that's why maybe he's giving this angry look and i'm <laughs> i am so sarcastically smiling because i i'm having the new cycle and i learned cycling through this cycle really because i still have those memories of me falling and having those scars and those scars are permanently on my knees probably this is my favorite spot in the entire house this is outside of my balcony we have this a uh, big staircase and i usually sit here whenever i want to you know think something or maybe you know relax myself it's really beautiful especially in the evenings in this photograph it's me my mom and my brother you all can see me and my brother are holding a gun and literally thinking of becoming gangsters and planning a murder very soon so this was almost few long back so we have not killed anyone yet such they are not my family members but then in this photograph i would like to talk about the background in the background you can see a hut which is knitted with palm leaves so that was basically a bathroom years years back so now obviously we have this modern bathroom but then you can see this black pot which is you know kept under this brown basket we still boil water in that we still have hot water bath in that it's totally different like what we boil on the gas and what we boil in this pot like this is me when i got this student of the year i was an all rounder you know <laughs> it is said that the school memories are the best memories you all will ever have even the people you meet over there are the best the people you all can see in the photograph are my best friends like our entire classroom was very much united and we had lot of memories together i had many more friends also but then these people we used to be together everywhere like some of our teachers used to call us magnets also we used to not leave each other sides so that's it i really miss my school days like i wish probably i could get them back just because of my friends not studies Flora, I'm really sorry. I have your better picture ahead. These people taught me a lot. <laughs> I would say I met them in my eleventh standard, and in twelfth we were really close. You know, it took me one year to recognize my best friends. <laughs> This photograph has a story behind it. She is Shirley, whom I call my Bay. That's because we have a very special bond, and this special memory is that. this was a farewell like we were having a farewell in our 12th standard and what we did was we decided to go to the parlor and dress up the previous day we went to a parlor and we booked an appointment and they called us early in the morning at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock something 
so we went there and then we were so en engrossed in doing our makeup and you know dressing up the makeup which they were applying us and all that we didn't realize what the time was and when we saw our watch it was already one o'clock then we rushed to the hall where our farewell was being celebrated and we both had decided to participate in mr and miss dempe i was studying in dempe college that time uh, so the bad luck was we missed the entire program and we entered the room and people were taking a group photograph the last group photograph that was i don't know what i we were embarrassed also we were happy also i don't know what i didn't know how to react to, to that situation i still feel like laughing about it but then me and my bae had a special time together <laughs> I felt the most luckiest when I see this photo. The best part about my higher secondary was also that I had my favorite cousins with me. But unfortunately, we were in separate divisions and our timings mismatched. That's why we could not meet each other very often like that. And the last one. This is my family picture which I clicked recently during my 21st birthday. but the most special photograph is this one she is flora so that's what i told like previously like i have i'm having a better photograph of her is that this photograph so she is not less than a sister to me we have almost completed i think more than 13 years of our friendship and this is really special so that was it so these were some of my special memories with my special people like even there are lot lot more photographs i was literally deciding almost for a week like which photographs to select and which photographs to share it with you all so then i can't do it maybe i can do a part 2 of the video because it will be too lengthy otherwise there are more special people in my life who i really appreciate who i really thank for you know teaching me and you know guiding me and literally everything what i am today So that was it. As I always say, if you all like this video and if you all want me to do more such videos, then please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.